All right, guys, welcome back. Epic Outdoor Adventures, Brian Peacock. Another fishing video for you guys. I had a guide again this morning. Um, we had one yesterday and we had one this morning. And uh, yesterday, ton of fish, but we couldn't uh, get any to hook up. Today, different story had David and Tom down here and uh, they uh, tore into them really good. We caught probably 20 some fish in uh, you know, about an hour's time. Um, you can look right down there, there's a whole crap load of them sitting right here. And uh, we were just plucking them off. Yeah, no, right? they, yeah, these fish will be all up in here too. I mean, okay. they'll be everywhere. Yeah, I mean, you never know where they're going to be sitting. A lot of times when we come down here, we'll push them out there a little bit in a current because they see us come down here. So they're like, no, nah, you know. But I mean, I've seen them like, you know, right here. You yeah. know, when you're up there walking, sometimes they'll be right here just eating because you see this current, it's coming like this. You know, they'll tuck right there behind that rock and sit right here. And then any bug or anything that comes by, like, see, that's a bug right there. See? Mm -hmm. And they'll just come up and eat it and they just sit there uh let me see yeah it's looped up a little bit uh, did you have one huh? did you have one yeah. <laughs> yeah. sometimes i tell you like it could take 20 casts it could take 100 casts and, and then all of a sudden they'll just bite it so it's you never know when they're going to bite it. Yesterday, it's aggravating because we could see all the fish. So it's a little more aggravating when you can see them mm -hmm. and they're not biting. <laughs> so how many did they, do they release? That's a good question. Um, normally... I believe they released like 1,500 fish in here. But last where did year... They, where did they release them from here? Mile upstream? Or? No, they ride up and stop in each little hole and dump them in and just okay. dump some here, some there, some here, some there. Um, sometimes they'll just go to bridges and dump them up the bridges and then they event eventually go down through. So you never really know where exactly they put them in. Um, but after they're in a couple weeks they tend to spread out a little bit you know oh, i got that baby all oh that's all right we'll probably just retie it morning probably be the quicker way there we go let's set that Whoops. Come back here. Good cast. There's still too much line out there. There you go. That was perfect. He got off. Mm. All right, look. Don't let go of the line here. Okay. Okay? okay. You got to hold that line with that finger. All right. You had him. I'm going to pull that a little bit more. There you go. Now, keep it right there like that. Keep that line in front of it. Just pulling just a little bit. That was a good one, too. There's another little tap. Did you see it? Boom. There he is. You got him. Oh, man. So, real. Now, no, just pull. Yeah, easy. 
Yeah, you got him. Ooh, you got him. No, don't pull him out of the water. Just slide him over to me. Easy. Bring him over. Yeah, 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 yeah. You got him random, right? Yep, yeah. there he is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah of course oh, there you go a photo moment of that man congratulations Please. your first so what is trout that? this is a rainbow trout it is a rainbow yep. all right and these are all still catch and release right yeah this is catch and release until june 15th and then you're able to keep them after that until october 1st again but yeah all right, I'm gonna get you in it, cause yeah, yep. Oh, you want me in it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're yeah. the, you're the professional. All right, hold on here. Let me. I'll bring it out and hold him for a second here. I don't like handling them too much, just cause it, we're gonna let them back go again. You know what I mean? Right. All right, perfect. All right, you want one? Sure. All right, hold on. Let me get this hook out of here. Get the other one out because there's two hooks. And if he squiggles out of your hand, them hooks will go right in your fingers. Had it happen a dozen times. I don't know where the other hook is. There it is. Oh, it broke off. Cool. All right. Let me take this. Yeah. Now, they are very slippery. So, is it, are they sharp or not? No, they're not sharp at all. Yep, just get a good grip. Oh, oh, oh. oh. There he is. Ah. <laughs> Be careful. All right, there Pretty you go. Quick. Yep. I don't want to let the guy oh, die from... Uh... <laughs> all right. Yeah. Yep, going back in. There he goes. Awesome, man. Damn, dude. I didn't think that was going to happen, you know? Awesome, man. That's... I tell you, it's uh, it's not an easy task to catch... Well, you practically caught that one. Fish. And, well, <laughs> not really, but I was just kind of... Right. Showing you how it's done and that feel and that, the timing of that hook set. You got to pay attention to that bobber. Um, you got to really pay attention to it. Um, here, you can probably pop a few more in there yeah yep just throw it back up there right there here you go you don't need any more line out because kind of drag it to the right yeah because they're face the yeah drag it because the current's not strong enough to move it so we just want it just moving just a little bit you know this one you're going to get by yourself i'll tell you when the yank you see him no i just watch that bobber that's the only thing you want to watch Now, oh, oh. did you see it go under? I now, did. let me see. You got a stick? You won't catch anything with a stick on there. All right, go ahead. Go oh back God. up there again. Yep. When you, when you, here, throw it up this way. And let it drift back this way yeah yeah uh, you'll have a little bit longer of a drift there there you go and then now you're gonna have to just pull it down back over this way just slightly until it hits the current to pull by itself now be ready and when you pull it yank a little bit harder so it sets that hook okay. like don't yank his lips off or nothing you know what i mean but like just yank hard enough to get that slack out of there and it, and it sets that hook in his mouth and then don't let go of the line Re hold the rod tip up high when you get one and, and keep that line tight because a lot of times they'll just get off get ready because you're going to get a bite right in here that's where they're sitting at right in there here he goes ready it's funny how it's coming upstream is that the uh is that the that's the eddy i was talking yeah, about the huh? swirl here he is get him now ah uh, that's all right do it again. Put it back up in the same spot you had Oh, you can just lay it down. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to get you over here in a second. See if we can't get you one. 
No, no, you get over here, buddy. I'm... I want you to get one, too. Everybody can get one if they're cooperating. So, what do you think that thing was? Like a half a pound? or? Um, yeah, probably three-quarter of a pound. It was probably about 13 inches, I guess, maybe. It was an average stalker fish. Now, you got them. Oh, you, you see how you let that slack, just that little bit of slack? Boom, they come off that fast. So you got to have that tight tension. As soon as you do it, lift that rod tip high and keep that really tight line on him. Oh, throw it out a little farther. Yep, now drag it back up to get in that yeah, there you go. Now you're in that eddy again. Pull it a little bit. It's still wanting to go the other way. There you go. There you go. Get ready. Right in there is where they're at. There's probably 10 fish down in there. You know, they're just all sitting in that eddy, like I was saying. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? They're right there where that grocery store is. Here it goes. There he is. Wait, 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 wait. Now. Oh, nope. They're pecking at it. Yeah, yeah, there you go. You got it. Whoops. Slipper bag. So, see, all right, they like in the pink color. See, I had an orange one on before, and we didn't get any bites. Right. So, I put the pink one on, and now I do. Now, get him. Oh, you had him. You had him. <laughs> I can't, I At least you're getting bites though. I mean, you know what I mean? You're, you're having bites. You'll get it. You'll get it. It's just a... They're still cooperating. That's good. <laughs> I guess, um, it obviously... Here, let me see. You got the, uh, whoa. I don't have it yeah. all the way. No, you're good, but if you get a big one, you might snap off because of the, uh, see how you got this knot? Yeah. All the way up in the rod? Right, right. We're going to try to keep that out of the rod. Okay, I'll see. Like that. Right. Because this knot will get hung in these guides sometimes, and if you get a big one, it wants to take, I mean, they'll take this line and zzz, take right, off. Right. You can't stop them, otherwise it'll pink break that real little tiny line. Right, right. So if you get a big one, you kind of keep pressure, let it slide through your fingers, let him take some line because that will stop your line from breaking. You know what I mean? We'll get to that point when you hook a big one though. <laughs> <laughs> Usually you lose a few big ones before you get one just because of that reason. Oh, the line's back up in the rod again. That's all right. Yeah, that's all right. That's it. The, the weight of this will pull it. Okay. So you kind of got to... Hold it. Yeah, hold it with that finger down in there. Right, don't let right. it back. Right there. Yeah. So in order to control the line, just hold your rod a little higher um, to make up for that. You know what I mean? Here, flick it out here. I'll show you. No, just... Hold your rod up here okay. and drag it rather than, you know, being okay. down where you were. Gotcha, gotcha. And that way it keeps that line up out of there. And it also gives you a little more line that once you hook them to keep that rod up out of the water without pulling the fish out of the water. Get ready. Now. Ooh. You see no, if, did, oh, see you see them in there? Yeah, I see them. Yeah, there's there's quite a few of them in there. Oh yeah, now I see them. Yeah, there's quite a few of them in there. They're like 
Come on down. Yeah, there's yeah, yeah, there, yeah, there's a bunch of them in there. They're like good size too. Oh yeah. Oh David, you're like all over these puppets. <laughs> yeah, throw it back up there again and drag it down into them. Yeah. That'll give that oh, yeah. that gives your bait time to sink down to before it gets to them. So they can't see us? Yeah, uh, they can. If you can see them, they can see you. That's the rule of thumb, and and then even more so of that. So, get ready. Here they are. here they come. You coming right? Oh, oh, you had them. You had them. How you doing, guys? Good. You won't feel them. Just watch that bobber. Watch that bobber. Well, I mean, once I once I pulled, I felt nothing. Yeah, they're they're a little timid right now. They they want it, but they're very shy of taking it so they're just nipping at it they're not actually eating it so they tend to do that a lot oh yeah that gets rid of that glare I don't think mine are poor, right? ready right in there right on top of it. yeah that's where they're at right there oh there he whoa, whoa, wait wait Do they, do they hang out where that little drop-off is? Yeah, uh, what I was telling him is this is called an eddy. Right, yeah. And it's, it's a big swirl because that current is on that side. Yep. And these rocks are stopping the current and pushing right. it to that side. Right. So that's like a, a water wheel. It's like just feeding. So what happens is this, it swirls and then you can watch them bubbles. You see the bubbles going back upstream? Yep. So that's that swirl. Yep. So it's like a whirlpool. So a whirlpool is called an eddy. Oh, so wow. that eddy, what it does is it grabs food and it swirls it and it, it centers it into the center of that yep. pool right there. Makes and I call it the grocery store. That's why I call <laughs> it the grocery, because it conjugates food right. in a, a narrow little spot. Oh, there. he's got one. There you go. He did it all by himself. All right, don't horse it. That's a big one too, man. All right, easy now, easy, easy. Don't pull him out of the water. Just let it fight. You gotta- Let some slack go? No, no, just, you're good. Just keep tight on him. Let him calm down a little bit. Let him get tired, all right? And then just pull him over to me. Easy. If he wants to run, just let him go back. Don't horse him. Yep. Pull a little more line in. Yeah, it is. He's going back. There you go. Oh. Come here, you. <laughs> he said, no way. There you go. Coming down off the mountain. He's got, he got two of them in, in what? 45 minutes we've been here. That's a good looking one. Yeah, that's, that's a pretty fish. That one, a little bit bigger than the last one. All right, we'll get a picture of him. Thomas, you come on down here. No. I want you to get one, man. I want man. you to get one. This is, this is like... About I his... like fight one and shit. Sorry, by the way, well, I cuss like a sailor. That's all right, me too. <laughs> and, and it's not on purpose. I just I mean, got so bad that I can't get myself out of it. All right. It's like a second language. There it is. Horrible. We got David down here today on the East Fork. Let's He's never caught him, fish. Him around the other way. There you go. He's oh, never yeah. caught a fish on a fly rod before, and this is his second one here in 45 minutes. All right. That's amazing. It's a beautiful fish. It they are, beautiful. aren't they? Very pretty. Now, what do you think that is? A pound? Oh, oops. Yeah, it might be a pound. Yeah. These are about average size stalker fish that they put in here. Um, They'll tend to put some about 14 to 16 as well, and then up to 18 and 20 inches too. Um, then they usually put a few tanks in here as well, like five pounders, like right. huge fish. There you go. go you want to? You want to throw them back? Did in. you want another picture? Just no. okay. You're good. Just toss All right. In. Yep. Uh, there you go, buddy. See, all right, so what happens when they put them in here, so they just put them in last week, okay. sometime last week. Um, so this is, this is another line? That yeah, that's what I took off a minute ago. All right, come on down here, bud. 
So they put him in last week. So they get stressed out. They don't know what's going on. They're dumped in a new environment. They, they were grown up in a concrete right. pool right. with thousands of other fish. So they're dumped in here. They don't know what's in. So they conjugate all together and they find a spot and they chill. Okay. So that you got to find them. Right, right. They're not everywhere in the river yet. So the longer they're in here, the more they will break away from the pack that and and tend to find their own little right. spots in the river. So right. a month a month from now, they'll be scattered out through this river, and it you know Water. you got to search for them. Yeah, which makes it more fun, right? It's the, the art of the hunt. Yes, but so. see now, like right now, if you can find where they're conjugated at, you can do what we're doing here and just boom. Right. Boonk, boonk. Right. It's like catching monkeys out of a barrel. You know what I mean? Because <laughs> they're not moving anywhere. All right, here. Let's see if you can come over here for a minute and get right here because they're up here a little bit more. Let me get right here. All right. What you're going to do is go right here. You want to throw it there. You want to drag it up this way just until it gets into that where them bubbles are now. Now, just hold that. Drag it up this way. Just easy. Right there. All right. Yeah. Now, get him. Oh, you had him that fast. Right. No, <laughs> you good. Uh-oh. Let me see it. You good. That fast, you almost had one. Look. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, because he had already let go of it. He hit it and let it go right away. Yep. Now drag it. Right in there, should be. Now, you got him. Oh, you had him. <laughs> you had him. Yep. Get him. You got him. There he is. Oh, baby. There he is. Yeah. I want to like fight him for a minute. Yeah, go ahead. He's not a very big uh, fighter, but big let's go get a big one. There's some big ones in there. This is a brook trout. So this one's it's a different uh, kind of fish. Yeah, this is a different fish. This one is the only native species that is originally here in Appalachian Mountains. So you see how pretty that one is? Oh wow, that is and in the fall these get really orange and red on the bottom. So this is a stocked fish and it doesn't have the bright, vivid colors as a natural one would. Right. Um, but these are up the Blue Ridge Mountains, uh, all them little creeks up there, these are wild up there. Awesome. And uh, people come from all over the world to catch these little fish. And this would be a big one up in the wild. Really? This would be a big one. 10 inches is a huge wild brookie. Right. Um, but so how big do they get? That's about it for the Appalachian variety. Oh, okay. Now there's other varieties that they stock. This is not an Appalachian variety. This is a stocked variety. Um, and these get five pounds. I mean, they get huge, you know? You want a picture with it? I'm all set. You good? All right. I took a picture of him and the fish, but okay. he's not holding it. Well, that's all he right. said, you, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. All right. Let's get another one. Yeah, there you go. That little guy. Have his piece. <laughs> this is awesome. It's like the A team. I love it when a plan comes together, all right? Right. Right in there, that's the spot, right there. And they want that pink worm today. That it that's seems sick. to be the ticket. It's, it's weird, uh, like some days it'll be green, some days it'll be orange, some days it'll be pink. It, it could actually change throughout the day. A morning it might be pink, afternoon it might be green. Uh, I guess what's weird is, I mean, they typically are eating bugs, right? Or flies? The wild fish are, but these stock fish don't know what bugs are. They're used okay. to being fed pellets in the hatchery all the time. So they're, they don't really know what's going on. They're like newborns. I mean, they're so just, they're just see, they see something. What, they they they'll eat anything. Yeah, it's, and that's why we use the bright colors, because it's very attractive okay. to them. Gotcha. And uh, they're just like, oh, what's that? And they try to eat it, you know? After they're in here a month, month and a half, they'll switch over to eating natural baits um, and they get a lot harder to catch on these bright, vivid stuff. So you gotta actually 
match the, the mm -hmm. actual bugs that are hatching at the time. Come on, motherfucker. Come on, man. They're getting a little uh, smart to it. Now, try, to, try it back up there a little bit. Sometimes we'll, catching a few of them, we'll move them around a little bit. There he is. You got yeah. him. <laughs> good hook set. That one's fighting a little better, isn't it? That's a good one. That's a good one. Better than the last one. Yeah. That's a rainbow. Oop, he got off. Yeah, it's all right. He counted. He touched the net. <laughs> oh, you bastard. I get him on video. Though. You got him? Okay. Let's get one more big one, David. I'm handing this back over. I'm coming for you. And it, the color, it varies. Um, I'm not sure it's that they like that color as much as that color is more visible under the conditions yeah, at that time. Totally. So they that just see it better makes, under different conditions. It makes perfect sense. Well, the funny thing was we were passing out there, not even. Like yeah, really right. See, the, norm, now. Now, in another two weeks, they'll be out there in that current. So it's, you know, you, you gotta, like I said, you gotta find out where they were. When we came down, I didn't see any because we spooked them out. But since we sat here and were still, mm -hmm. they came back over here and then they started jumping. Remember, I was like, all right, they're right here. So let's, you know, try to get them here. So when we first got here, they may have just been spooked a little bit where they just didn't want to eat anything because we had just got here. There you go. Uh -huh. There you go. Yeah, oh! oh <laughs> Sorry, that's coming over your head, baby. See that Everybody... bug right here flying, right here? Yeah. That's a caddisfly. That's a main staple that's of, what they're looking for. of that trout's diet, yeah. Right. That's the re well, that's what they're really wanting. Yes, yeah, that's what the, the they'll change up to eat uh, later on after they're in here. When they realize that them pellets ain't coming anymore, you know it's then they're then they're pretty much free what, for all. What is the oh, got it. You got yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, baby. Come on. Nice. Come on, the lifespan of a fish. Yeah. Um. Here in North Carolina, I believe it'd be about six, seven years. All right, get ready. Uh, but they really don't make it that long. People catch them. At, Eventually take them. There he is. There he is. Yep. All right. That's All right. Thomas. David. Looks, that's number four. That's All right. Yeah. Well, that's number five for it's the total. Five. Oh yeah, you got three. Yeah, yeah. That's right. That's right. Let's yeah. get a look at that guy. All right. We're fishing. <laughs> There you go. Y'all, I mean, y'all look professional. <laughs> you guys got any yet? Yeah, we got a couple. Did you? Yeah. All right. Has he got any? Oh, yeah. All right. Good, good, good. That's the way it should be. Yeah. Look at that. That's beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Thomas. You got. Yeah. I thought we were going to be doing this. Huh? We were gonna, <laughs> I, I had it at like really gonna, low probabilities. Yeah. Like, okay. Enjoy the uh, our camaraderie. Exactly. Yeah, a little father, father. We only need one rod, and we don't even need to cast in this hole. It, it's a great little spot. It, they're actually cooperating great now, right now. Just wish it was like this every time out, you know, for people. 
there was a pumpkin. Yeah, pumpkin. we could go home and brag to the wives <laughs> that we actually. We caught 30 fish. We're professionals now. We accomplished something. We're starting our God service next week. <laughs> yeah, you got the line up in the rod. That's all right. Here, let me see. I'll pull it back out for you. There you go. They're up here? Yeah. Try to throw it up near the current. Out a little bit farther. Yeah. Now feed it a little bit of line. Shake the rod tip back and forth just a little bit. And it'll get that line to come out. Yeah, right in there. Yup, right in there. Pull a little more line out. Here, let me see it. You got it up in there again. Get out, leave, leave out about that much there. Now try to flick it out up a little bit farther up there. Dave, I reeled it all in too. All right, lift it up and then flick it forward. There you go, yeah, right there. Yeah, right there. That's gonna have one right there, yep. We just pushed him up just a little bit further. There he is. Get him. Oh, you had him. You had him. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. I'll go get it. I don't know. Might break it. It's really, really light line. Yeah. Let me know. I'll go. <laughs> I'd love to, like Patagonia or something. Two places I've fished in my life. Uh, so I think the word Patagonia and then New Zealand. Really? Right, so I, was, I was along for the ride. Yeah. But, um, but it was awesome. Oh, that's like one of the world renowned right, fly like, fishing places. Like the only two places I've been. That's like, like a bucket like list for me. Places. I'd love to go there. Like going to the Super Bowl. I'd love to go to the Yellowstone. There's a bunch of places I'd love to go, but you know. The practicality of it. I mean, I'd probably go if I didn't have family and all, but families tend to slow you down a little bit. You know what I mean? That's fine though. I wouldn't trade them for for anything in the world. And uh, my son, uh, I have a 23-year-old, a 12-year-old, and a seven-year-old. <laughs> yeah, spaced it out a little bit. <laughs> I've got three sons, 12, 9, and, and almost two. Okay. So yeah, you're almost about what I'm at. All right, fellas, this is good. Get it. Beautiful. Look at you. You learning it, ain't you? <laughs> I see you remember a little bit from the last time too. Didn't take you long. All right, lower your rod a little bit. That'll give you a little more. There he is. So the sun has shifted a little bit. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. And I can totally tell what you're saying. Like from their perspective, it's not that it's pink or it's blue. It's what what they, what can, they can see. see yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It, do it doesn't really matter as long as they can see it. Right. They'll go after it. Yeah. Now, once they become locked in on natural stuff, you, you need to match sizes and colors of the natural bugs in here because anything out of natural, they're, they're, they're like, oh, yeah. there you go, look at you. Every time I turn around, you get one. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's all right. That's part of fly fishing. Yeah, and that's also cool because you lost it because he was fighting. Yep. You know, like it, you didn't just pull it out of the water. Yeah, that was a pretty good-sized fish, wasn't it, baby? I think that was the biggest one yeah. so far, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
The one that gets away is always the biggest totally. one so far. <laughs> At least in my stories. <laughs> I got video, it don't lie. <laughs> Yeah, you're good. If you want more line, here, watch. I'll show you a little trick about getting it out of there because it don't like to come out of there. When you, when you do this, well, when you want to give it more line, pull this out, right? And get a loop down here and then take this and just really fast shake this rod back and forth. And what it does is it just pulls that line right out the end of it. I was wondering about that trick. That's how you get the line? Yeah, yeah. And then you can just, you know, flick it. Drag it back into that up swirl. Yeah. Yep. I mean, you're right at him. Who? Oh, get him. You got him. Yeah. Good one, too. Keep him in the yep, bottom. keep it. Yep, there you go. And don't pull too hard now. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, all right, stop. Don't pull in no more because you got it right at that knot. Now just use your rod and just pull it. Yeah, that's a fat one. Yeah, it is. That's a good one. He's been eating good. See, they'll fight like that. Once you get him, he usually... There, you got him. Yeah, that's a good one there. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. That one's probably two pounds. Get a photo of him, man. Pound and a half, maybe. This year. Just that, right? He's probably 14 inches, None maybe. Of us, just, the, just this fish. Just 14 inch fatty. Right. Right. He'd be good on the dinner plate. Yeah. <laughs> Whoop. I got him on the hook still. Thank goodness I didn't take it out yet. Uh, hold on a minute. God. He's slippery. Come here, you. Look at that beautiful fish. That is awesome, David. Hey, oh, we gotta wow. get that of you, David. You gotta hold him. Yeah. I know, I just don't wanna. There's slimy stuck in. That's it. Oh, look at him. He's all right, he, he's just stressed out for a minute. He needs some oxygen in his gills. He'll turn over in a minute. He just don't know what's going on right now. He's like, what the heck? How long can they stay out? I like to say, there he goes. Oh wow! He just, yeah, they just they they get disoriented. Sorry. They're just like, what the heck's going I on? I feel the same way. Uh, another another way to stop them from flopping around is to flip them upside down. So by doing that, it kind of trances them out of, I guess, the gravity upside down or something. Yeah. It's not a natural thing for them to be upside, be upside down. down. So I, I guess it calms them sometimes. Man. All right, we'll do. What, a few more minutes and then we'll keep wearing them out. Yeah, then we gotta go to a pumpkin patch. You gotta go to a pumpkin patch today? Yeah. 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 Where are you going? I don't know. They think they found some spot up here. Patches, All right. I'm trying to find like back home in Maryland. I think they said it is somewhere. And uh, David, you know, there's a. Ugly Dog Cafe in Cassis, too. Right. right. We've been there. Should we go have lunch there and get a cold beer? Mm -hmm. We had the, uh, we went there after the, have you ever gone to the Odd House races at the? That's some funny shit. No, uh-uh. So it's in, it's in uh, Sapphire Valley Resorts. Okay, you know, right yeah. That little ski slope. Yeah, yeah. So every year they do a, uh, Odd house races, so people build these odd houses, put them on like skis, and, and they go. Someone's riding in it. <laughs> it's someone, awesome. Someone sit on someone's the pushing them, and they race down the hill. When is that? It's um. We it's, were up here for what? Yeah, it's they've been doing it for like 15 years. It's really? I'll have, yeah. yeah. have to check it out. I'll have to check that out. Before Christmas or after Christmas? That's a good question. Um, yeah, I think we're gonna go over there and go tubing this year. That'd be fun. I yeah. didn't even know they did that yeah. until this year. Yeah, sure. I was like, I didn't know that. Oh, 
right, JB, you're right on top of him. Like a big, a big stool of him. There, get him. You got yeah. him, look at there. Another first, first cast back in. <laughs> Pros, look at you, you don't even need me no more. <laughs> Other places. There's tons of places around here. You need to, like, we just need to, every time we're up here, Saturday morning, Woo! Oh, come on, you. Oh, you're out. Go ahead. Yeah, there's tons of spots. Um, we're gonna call it. You're gonna call it for today? All right. On to our next. Cool, next adventure. Yeah.